welcome back to just academy mathematics youtube channel where we make you a mathematics genius today we have a question from statistics specifically probability and then the question says that a bag contains six red five blue and four green identical balls three balls are drawn from the bag at random without replacement take notes without replacement Calculate correct to three decimal place the probability that I, the balls, are of the same color. And I, I, a ball from each of the three colors is drawn. So this question is not, uh, it's not complex. Uh, let, let's just go into it. Uh, let me show you. First, we need to, we need to know the probability for each by just adding up uh, let's just do this so we have red uh, the red balls are how many six and the blue balls are five a number while the green is four so of course the total number of balls from what you are seeing here is definitely what uh, 15 uh, so total is 15 that is 10 plus 5 15 uh, so probability of red for instance is uh, uh, 6 over 15 6 over total probability of blue is 5 over 15 probability of green is um, uh, 4 over what 15 you should know all that by now uh, so the first question is uh, anyway, we're supposed to put I here, but no problem. So, the balls are of the same color. How many balls are drawn? Three. Three. Three balls are drawn. Three balls. That means the first one, I draw red. I draw another one. I draw red. I draw another one. I draw red. That is what this one is saying. The three balls, the balls are of the same color. And we have three different colors here. So what is the possibility? Probability that the balls, eh, that what? That the three balls are of the same color. Eh? The probability that the three balls are of the same color is equal to probability that it, the first is red, the second is red, the third is red. Or the first, probability that the first is what? Blue, the second is blue, and the third is blue. Or the probability that the first is what? Green, second green, third green. That is the possibility. So let's go into it. Probability that the first is red. Red means six over 15. That is the probability. 6 over 15. That is the first one you draw. But you did not replace it because the question is without replacement. So if you remove 1 red, which is 6 over 15, eh? when it is 6 inside the bag, it means 6 over the total. Now when you remove one, 1 red, how many red is remaining? 5. So if you go and draw again and you draw red again, because it's remaining 5, that is 5 over the total. How many total is many now? 14. Now if you go back and draw again, red will now be remaining how many? 4. Over how many total now? 13. That is what they mean by without replacement. Or means plus. Let's go for blue. Blue, you draw the first one. When it is 5, that is 5 over the total, which is 5 over 15. After drawing the first one, how many blue is remaining? 4. So the second one is 4 over the total, which is now 14. You go for the third one. That is 3 over what? 13. Or it's also plus. We'll do the same thing for green. Green is 4 over what? 15. The second will be 3 over what? 14. And the third will be what? 2 over what? 13. So this is what we are to work out to get our final answer. So all we need to do is this time this is what 30 
So we have that 30 multiplied by 4 will give us, of course, 120. So we have equals to 120 over, let's check the down one, 15 times 14 times ter, uh, 13 is what? 2730 plus, is it the same thing here? No, this is 20, 60. 60 over 2730 plus this is 12, 24 over 2730. So because they are the same thing, all you need to do is to add the numerators. That is 120 plus 60 plus 24. That will give us 204. So the final answer is 204 over 2730. In decimal, divide it by 2730, which will give us 0 0.0.075. Uh, that is 204. I will take it again. 204 divided by 2730 will give us 0 0.07. How many decimal places? We, we actually have 0 0.0747. But since it's to three decimal place, after the decimal, we'll just need three digits. One, two. So that is seven. Instead of four, seven, we'll have seven, five. That is the answer to three decimal place for this. Uh, for this A part. Okay, for the B part, our I, I part, the, our space is limited, but let me squeeze it in. So probability of a ball from each of the three color. Eh? Probability that the three balls are the three balls are a ball are made up of a ball from each of the three colors. Uh, that means the three balls drawn are made up of uh, a ball from each of the three colors. So what is the possibility? Each of the three colors, let's start with the first one is the probability that it is red, then blue, then green. Uh, that means red, blue, green. A ball from each of the three color, a ball from red, a ball from blue, a ball from green. Yeah? That is one plus the probability that we started with red. Let's follow me now. The next one will be red, green, blue. Just bring green here, then follow by blue. That is the third possibility, the two possibility for red, red starting. Red starting, take note plus let blue start blues blue red green blue starting then blue will start again green will come to the center plus probability of blue green red then that is blue starting plus green starting probability of green red blue plus probability of green, blue, red. These are the possibilities. So we have how many possibilities? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's break it down and present the final answer. So red, watch this part. This is very interesting. Red, red, the bag has 15 balls. So the first peak is red and red is six. That is six over what? Six over 15 times the second one is what blue blue you have not removed any blue so blue is still five inside the bag but how many ball is remaining since it's without replacement is remaining 14 so if you pick blue that is five over 14 times if you now put pick green since green is still intact that is four over 13. can you see that now plus Let's go. The first peak here is red. Red is what? 6 over 15 
times the second one is green 4 over 14 times what I'm blue which is 5 over 13 plus the third one we we'll start with blue blue is what 5 over 15 times red 6 over 14 times green 4 over 13 plus blue or rather yes blue 5 over 15 green 4 over 14 red 6 over 13 plus I hope this space go green 4 over 15 times red 6 over 14 times blue 5 over 13 and finally green 4 over 15 times blue 5 over 14 times red 6 over 13 so this is all we need notice that the denominator is the same for all of them uh, so we can say that the final distance is this this time this is what or this time this is 20 20 times 6 is what 120 over 15 times 14 times 3 is still the same thing the same 2 7 3 0 that is this first one plus this is uh, 20 times 6 again I think all of them is 20 times 6, 20 times 6. Huh? This, no, this is the same thing now. 20 times 6, 20 times 6. So since they are all the same, huh? we can just say uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 6 times 20 times 6. I think that will help. Huh? For all of them, since they are all the same. 6 times 20 times 6. Uh, 6 times the one of this, which is 120 over 2730. Eh? Because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and they are the same. Eh? So this will give us what? Let's get our answer now. So that is 6 times 120. That is 720. Eh? Divide by 2730. What is the final answer? Eh? Divide by two seven three zero. That will give us zero point two 